And we are in uh, finely dandily shape here, I think. Badoosh. And uh, now, things are gonna happen, hopefully. Hit four things, hit four things. Come on now. Out of the dance star. I three think it's three Lunark veterans, though. And we get the third cleric. I think they're still pretty good. Can we in response level up here? I don't think so. No. No, unfortunately not. Uh, okay, we'll uh, spread this evenly, I guess. Badoosh. Badoosh, <laughs> we're getting so much life now. Oh, my freaking gun nerds. Yeah, don't let your memes be dreams, everybody. Today we're trying to ride the perfect wave, hit the perfect storm, whatever the expression is, I don't know. We're playing Ao the Dawn Sky, new card from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. It's pretty good stats, a 5-4 flying vigilance for 5. It's good all around, but here's the thing, whenever he dies, you look at the top 7 cards of your library, put any number of non-land permanent cards with total mana value, 4 or less. Which means that you can hit 4 things if all of your thing cost 1, which almost all things in the deck cost 1, <laughs> which is amazing. And you put all of them onto the battlefield, and not only that, Out of the Dawn Sky can also be returned by 1 permanent for 1 mana, which is the Cleric Clause, because when you get to the 3rd level of the Cleric Clause, you can return something from your graveyard to the battlefield and gain life equal to its toughness. Which is of course insane, because Out of the Dawn Sky can then find more Clare Classes and more Clare Classes and more Clare Classes and you almost never run out of gas with this deck, which is pretty amazing. Of course we build this in kind of a life deck sacrifice shell, so we have things such as Lunar Arc Veteran, which of course in combination with the second level of Clare Classes is going to buff up everything in our team. We can also buff up our creatures with Paladin Class. We have good sacrifice outlets such as Eye Twitch or Shambling Ghast. We can sacrifice them to Deadly Dispute, which also lets us sacrifice out of the Dawn Sky. And we can sacrifice out of the Dawn Sky to Hostile Hostel, where we can sacrifice the creatures. Good to have it on the land also. And potentially, I thought we could also use this with a Ganjo Seat of the Empire, where we can channel this and deal 4 damage to attacking a blocking creature. This has exactly 4. Uh, toughness, we can kill our own owl just to trigger the ability, if we really need to do that, we can do it that way. Then we have Warlock class, because it's just good permanent for one mana, essentially. And Skyclave Cleric, because sometimes we hit a lot of lands, it happens a lot, and if you're physical with Out of the Dawn Sky, the deck is not that great. You need to really hit Out of the Dawn Sky as quickly as possible, which the easiest way is just playing Shambling Gas turn 1, turn 2 Deadly Dispute, and turn 3 Out of the Dawn Sky. Uh, that's, that's pretty much the deck, everybody. I have board wipe, of course, so we don't lose. Derp, my god, we're in platinum, everybody. I actually played this deck a little bit uh, yesterday evening, and uh, I, I feel like this is pretty good. It's very all in this deck on uh, the sound check here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, uh, sound is working. So it's very all in on this card, of course, out of the dawn sky. But when you get it off, I was like, I feel like it's pretty good. Uh, let's see, cleric class. Do the cleric class? Nah, is what I do. Do this first, so we gain life. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think for the first time in my life, I didn't mess up the first play. <laughs> I mean, the first play is like the first pancake you make. It's always shit. We all know this. You made pancakes, you know. The first one is is poop. Uh, then afterwards, slowly gets better and better and better. Uh, we'll put down this. Uh, I think we'll do uh, another white. And uh, we'll, we'll no attack it. Hopefully, it'll attack in and we can sacrifice one. Uh, we, I think we sacrifice both guests if it attacks in. And then we can play the owl. Next turn. Pretty good. I think it's gonna attack in though. No. Oh, you fight something. Oh, Blizzard Ball. Ah, that's not. Oh, these are not Snowlands. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess you can do it without snow. That's awesome. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. I think we just level up the cleric class at this point. I mean, there's no attack again. And if it comes in, it's gonna it's gonna be sorry. All these shambling guests. Okay. Ulvenwald. Oh my God. Trample and ace. That's pretty badass, though. It's pretty badass. Do we now kill the Ulvenwald oddity, or do we kill the werewolf pack leader? I think that this is gonna give him a lot of value. Seven manas, though. Trans nah, it's not gonna happen, right? It's not gonna happen, okay. We'll kill the werewolf pack leader. Take a little bit of damage. 
so some uh, stiffer competition there, I gotta say, in Platinum. Okay, I'm gonna minus you. And I'm gonna treasure. I think that's pretty good. And... Uh, this is perfect. Oh, the down star! Down on the ground! <laughs> Down on the ground. Green usually doesn't have many ways of killing this without fighting it. So that's good. Like if you play against a white deck, for instance, they might have some exile tricks or something. Okay, tendrils. But uh, that was exactly what I want. Oh, crack, only two things. Uh, I was about to say that was what I wanted you to do, but. <laughs> okay, so hopefully we hit a little bit more than two things. Hopefully we hit like four things. Often happens with this deck that we hit four things. Didn't happen there, though. Didn't happen there. Uh, I think just block there. Uh, take four damage, that's fine. Uh, let's see, uh, create another treasure, that's fine. Ooh, ooh. I think we use this, though, to get a little bit more life. Could be a good thing. And return the, oh, the Dawn Star. Put a plus counter on that thing. And maybe even. Increasing its... Yeah, 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 I, th I think this is good. I'll waste this treasure just to uh, grow it a little bit more. 7-6. Pretty sturdy. Come on, pretty good. Okay. Oh my god, that's... <laughs> that's dangerous though. Okay, that thing comes in though. I mean, uh, fine, we'll block. We'll block. Take a little bit of damage. This thing is dangerous. Unnatural growth. Okay, come on now, hit gun now. Ah, shit, we're not, we're not hitting that good, but it's fine, I think. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's somewhat working out, but at the same time, no. It's not really working out for us so far, okay. Buff this guy up, okay? Um, hmm. Could go in for a lot of damage. I still think you just want this, though, don't we? Ah, put this down. 6-5, we get another life point. Maybe this guy is just gonna be the blue caroons, right? Okay, put down this. Okay, uh, buffs everything. <sighs> I th nah, I think we just want to stay back <laughs> for the time being. I think we just want this guy to front line a little bit more. Oh my god, that's another one! No! <laughs> oh my freaking god! 16 16 with trample. My god, Oh, not you. Uh, okay. I mean, two is fine, I think. Cleric and yeah. Yeah. I think that's good. Oh my god, is he? Oh, he's just reordering. Okay. Wait, could be. A oh, wait. If we put in everything, we would have killed him. <laughs> that would have been so much better. Okay. Top four cards. Okay. I mean, it's something. It is something. We are doing something here. It's not the not the best thing ever, but it, uh, main. <laughs> okay, buff this guy, Glyph cleric. I don't know exactly why I can see that there, but I uh, know. I feel like we were on a kind of a on a comeback thing there. <laughs> I feel like we should have also blocked everything on that Ulven dude <laughs> to kill him. That would have been so much better. Uh, because if we had played the third, whatever that enchantment, unnatural growth thing, I think would have been in real trouble there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, we keep this. We keep this thing. And then... Do we want an early eye twitch? I think so. Put this down. Then we can play eye twitch next turn. And put this down as a land, probably. Or wolf cast. Oh my god. Thousand faced shadow is a ninjutsu deck. Ninjutsu! Uh, it's very good for us that we have the eye twitch, though, but he's probably gonna ninjutsu this thing and uh, deal with eye twitch. That's what I'm guessing. Okay. Ooh, lifelink, okay. Equip creatures like, oh my god, four manas to reconfigure. It's a lot of big manas, buddy. It's a lot of manas. Okay. If we gain life, we gain one extra life. That's uh, noise. Noise, noise. Uh, we'll keep up the devil dispute here. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Leech gauntlet. This is good. I, I feel like reconfigure sometimes it's really strong. There's like a white card which can remove something from a graveyard and has reconfigure. I feel like that card's pretty good. Whenever one or more artifacts you control, leave the battlefield during your turn. Create a... okay. 
Oh, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen this card. Okay, create a colorless construct. Oh, can only take once. Ah, let's check. Man, I was like, can't you make a loop and <laughs> make a gazillion construct? But now only once each other. Only <laughs> take that out of your vocabulary, wizards. Once per turn. Who likes oh oh it's so fun? I can only do this once per turn. But that one time it feels so mm, it's so good. Okay. Yeah, I think the eye twitch. I'm gonna jump in front there. And uh, that lifelink is not gonna get any lifelink. It's just gonna I twitch! I twitch, I twitch. We might need some removal versus this guy. Eh? Pick up this. Uh, pick up this. And uh, can we draw all, out the Dawnstar? Because that would be a uh, very nice deck if we could do that now. No! No! Uh, do we just level this up now? I don't feel like we're under that much pressure. So I feel like we can do it now. Worst case, we can even return an owl. Not an owl twitch, an eye twitch. <laughs> From our graveyard. Not the best use of a clear class, but in the worst case. And also, you always want this level up kind of with this deck. Because when you start going off with owl, you want you, you want your plush counters, you know. You want your plush counters. Okay. Or wolf castle, though. Okay, so it's... Something is gonna leave the battlefield. Surely, some artifact. With the only cult anvil. You can sacrifice an artifact and deal one damage to each opponent and he gains one life. Still doesn't seem that good for him. Uh, but he can do it. Okay. Put down the I Twitch. I Twitch! I Twitch. I Twitch, I Twitch, I Twitch. We could actually just put down the Paladin class and level it up. He's not really putting that much pressure on us. By the way, he's playing like. <laughs> Five colors, yes, okay. That's cool. That's cool. That's a, that's a cool thing to do. Okay. Paladin class. I twitch, getting huge magnooch. Pass the turn. Pass the runes, the turn the runes. Are we though gonna find the Outer Dawnstar? I think so. I think it's gonna happen. I think we're gonna find it right now. Right here. Right now. Okay, Hinata. That's the girlfriend of Naruto, if you remember. Spells you cast because one is cast for each target, and spells your opponent gets because a more to cast for each target. No! Um, which means that if I cast this now, I need to pay six manas. But I think we need to take this away. It's way too strong. Way too strong! Way too strong! And also, I think it's a mythic, right? Oh, it's a rare, okay. This looks like it's a mythic, it's just me. Uh, it looks like it, okay. And uh, then we just double tax. No friggin' attacks here! Now we just need to dig. Dig for the Audi Dawn Star. And also, by the way, Jason Dennis Reddit. We've leveled up on the Jason Dennis Reddit, honestly. My god, look at this. It's even a GIF. There's <laughs> animation going on. And I'm not in black and white. It's insane. It's insanely nice. I've got some weird brewskis up coming up, so. <laughs> Loyal fan base. Oh my god! It's finally happening! <laughs> <laughs> I love that face. <laughs> oh my god. Lizzie, unstoppable ogre, but the answer battle target creature can't block this turn. Uh, death touch and ninjutsu. Why didn't he. Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, a creature can't block. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit of a dingus. Uh, okay. Uh, we don't really have anything. <laughs> anything of anything. We just smack in with the eye twitch. And... Uh, what's that gonna do? Nothing. Uh, well, no attacks. <laughs> we'll just regret doing that and... Uh, <laughs> go to our second main phase, because that's... That's when things get real. And then we go to the Warlock class, of course. I'd really want to sacrifice the eye twitch. But we need to find a land of this, okay. We'll find a land of this. Find a land, surely. Three cards. Of course, one is gonna be a land, surely. One is not a land, okay. Um, on the other hand, I think we'll take the Doom Scar. Reason being, we kind of need to clear up here. And at the same time... Uh, 
at the same time, well, that's something I was about to say. At the same time, we can just return this thing with the Clary class anyways. So it's fine if it's in the graveyard, right? Right? That's me? Right? Okay. Or Wolf Castle. Unstoppable Ogre. Uh, what did this do now? Uh, when this combat damage a player, you remove... Uh, you remove that touch card from it. When you do exile target artifact, oh, or enchantment, no! <laughs> That's not okay. Simply not okay. Search library for planes. Oh, I've seen this one. And you can discard, and then you get the three, four vigilance. It's pretty good, honestly. Yeah, the solid, solid control card. I don't know if that's good enough right now. Maybe it is. Well, we'll find out. Okay. We can figure. Sure. Uh, so he's lifelink flying now. Uh, maybe lifelink would be better on this thing. I'm saying. <laughs> this thing got louder. Okay. The unstoppable ogre. But he got stopped. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. I twitch. Yeah. Now he's gonna get a 1 1 dude. Is this an artifact now? Just thinking how his uh, synergies work here. I think it just lands, maybe? No, no, he's gonna have something big that we need to deal with. We all know this gonna happen. We know it's gonna happen. So. No, I think it's good. I mean, he's not putting that much pressure on us, so don't we just return our dude uh, with this thing? I think so. Return our dude. Gain three life points, because we get... Ooh, uh, we return you. We get two extra from these, and so one from this. That's pretty nice. Uh, plus counter on... Uh, actually, I think we put it on you now, because I think this will have a tendency to just die. I think, okay. Wait, did we gain two? Uh, yeah, yeah, we gained from this also. And that is increased by two also. Main. Main so much. So much thanks, sir. Hopefully it doesn't run the card which is like a far farewell card, which exiles everything of a type, so you can exile all enchantments. That's kind of bad for us if that happens now. Uh, yeah, we just... Do we go in? Flying lifelink death touch. Nah. Nah, death touch. <laughs> I don't want to sacrifice my Lunark veteran. Okay, you may discard a card when you do, you return a permanent card. Can you do something tricksy with this? Except this card land, I think is like the best thing, because then it ramps you. But is there anything else you can do with this? Maybe there is, okay. Just a land, I mean, that makes sense. That just makes sense, I think. Makes, makes a, a lot of sense. A okay, thousand based shadow. This also has a very cool ability. I'm actually thinking about maybe making a deck around this. So you can ninjutsu this guy and he copies something. So you, since you ninjutsu the thing, it needs to be returned, right? So you can't copy the thing that you ninjutsu with, unfortunately. What is this? Uh, can't attack or block or crew vehicles. His activated abilities can't be activated. But it's no activated ability. No, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> so we just deadly dispute this guy. And we are in uh, finally deadly shape, I think. But douche. And uh, now things are gonna happen. Hopefully. Hit four things. Hit four things. Come on now. Out the downstar. I three think it's three Lunark veterans though. And we get the third clerk. I think this is still pretty good. Can we in response level up here? I don't think so. No. No, unfortunately not. Uh, okay, we'll uh, spread this evenly, I guess. Badoosh. Badoosh, <laughs> we're getting so much life now. Oh, my freaking gun nerds. I mean, we have to level up this, right? Have to do it. Because uh, if we play even one thing here, I think that's pretty good. I, I think we just play this. Let's play it. Get a lot of things. And I think we'll even sacrifice this, right? You have so much HP, honestly. This is getting insane! Okay. Yep. Yeah, this thing. This thing is getting pretty huge. Okay. Up to 50. Yep. I mean, it makes, makes complete sense. And, uh, I mean... I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't think we haven't got this one. I think it turned this one around. He's had some uh, some cool tricks up his sleeve, some some rare new cards, but uh, 
I think... I think... Can you build something around this? We can sacrifice an artifact. I don't know. They're cool cards, but it doesn't really fit together, I feel like. <laughs> There's no theme, really, going on there. Uh, when I'm in attacks or blocks, it creates a colorless spirit creature token. Mm -hmm. Okay, when it... Never... Uh, whenever it's... Whenever Shane Centipede or Equipped Creature attacks... Man, I don't know. <laughs> that was so difficult to read, but it was very difficult. Very, very difficult. Okay, third Paladin class. We I mean, have to just go for more. Do we have no sacrifice out? Sacrifice outlets is what I'm trying to say. We don't have any sacrifice outlets, but that's fine. We'll do this. We'll do down our dude. We'll buff everything up to insane proportions. Uh, out of the Dawnstar, yes. Always this. Put a plus counter on, uh, let's see, on you. And maybe on, uh, maybe we'll start buffing up this guy here. So, I will just put that up. <laughs> I don't know how to put this thing, sir. I mean, we could put everything on this guy. Like an argument for doing that, I guess. Because we could get in uh, the air here. And uh, deal a lot of damage. Uh, we'll do another battling class also. Yeah, so that if he has farewell, we really, really are. You are going to cry if that happens, okay? Put down the eye twitch. Gain all the life points. Buff up everything. Buff them up. Okay. I think this is the correct choice. But you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket at the same time. You know? At the same time. But on the other hand, if he kills this... Uh, that's not good for him either, so... Okay. We're going for a lot of damage here. A lot of damage. This is, 50, this is 24 damage. If he just takes everything, which I don't think he's gonna do. Yep, that makes sense, that block. Makes a whole lot of sense. Blocks there, blocks there. And blocks... That's it, okay. Down the seven pain. Uh, we can now uh, kill this guy. It's kind of nice. Minus one, minus one. Badoosh. And he lost a creature, so he's gonna take one damage from the Warlock class. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. And we get him in there exactly with Owl, the Dawn Sky. That's perfect. That's freaking perfect, that's right, that's freaking perfect. Would be cool to kill this guy somehow, some way he's just saying, but... But we can do that. We can also level up this. So that uh, something gets double strike. I think that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice, actually. Pretty nice. Or Wolf Castle, though. I think he's gonna pass down now. Could also eat up his Leech Gauntlet. He's gonna only eat up artifacts. Hmm. It's good to have a sacrifice outlet without a mana cost. That's really good. That's maybe what you should do, use this for. But sacrifice an artifact. When do you need to sacrifice an artifact? I guess you could potentially use this with Grease Fang. To eat up the equipment all the time. Like a one-off. A bit too bad, I don't think. Okay. And we'll level up you. Level 3. And uh, our own the Dawn Sky. Ow, the Dawn Sky is gonna be huge, Mag Doge. Okay? Love it, you awesome. All the damage. All the damage. Get a little pretty huge now. We'll just smack in. And Badouche. And this guy is pretty, pretty huge. Double strike, 21 20. Yes. <laughs> it's feeling pretty good now. Okay. Badouche gets in front there. Yeah, and maybe I should just attack him with this. Okay. It's a 1-1 one, one there. Back to... Badadoosh! Badadoosh! I mean, we're ranking up quickly. I haven't lost a game, I think, since I started playing. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, we did start very low with our rankings. That is true. We did not start as the highest of ranks, but at the same time... I think I'm pretty 
good. They're doing pretty good. Feels good also when they have so many drops, like one drops. Like, like this. Feels good and I like it. Uh, I think we'll do the Cleric class. We get double life points from this eye twitch. That's pretty nice. Badunk. And uh, let's see here. If you can roll a permanent. Okay. When we cause a spell. Oh, yeah. That's high mana value. You get a plus card on. That's fine. That's fine. I gotta take some time. Hopefully, hopefully. We drew with class. Oh, uh, rampers. Rampers, snappers. Really? Uh, okay. Sure. So I'll take it. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Do we do introduction to annihilation? Or do we do environmental sciences? I think we want something to play next turn, so I think we can play this. Get a land. Ooh, that was the right choice, I think. And put down this. Search for a black source, maybe? Okay. Schwamp. Noise. And we got three life points for that. Oh my god, up to 25! I've got so much. So much, so much, so much. Okay. Surely gonna level up this. Get another land now, no? Royal eruption, okay. Sure. That is okay. And that is okay, I don't mind. I don't mind what you're doing. Okay, wall of class. And I think we just check top cards. We want a land, if all possible. Land is nice, we'll take you. And then we'll just pass down. And now we have all the out Dawn Star. Have it! We have it! We have the out! Do, 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 do. Village mods. Okay. Cemetery Gatekeeper. An exile card from a graveyard. Now a player plays a lance or casts a spell. Ah, enchantment is gonna block me off the enchantment. He thinks! The fool of a duke! Ha <laughs> ha! Out the door star! Hopefully it doesn't have an exiling. I mean, red, green, they don't have that much exile. There's a couple of things to exile, but... I don't think he's gonna have it. I don't think so. Uh, okay, first strike. That is fine, I'll block. Okay. Just suicides. That's, that's okay. <laughs> and then, royal eruption! That's perfect! That's perfect, we don't even need this guy! Top 7 card, come on! What? <laughs> How many lands? One, two, three, four lands. Okay, and sometimes you miss with this. To be fair, it happens. It happens that you miss. Doesn't happen that often, but when it happens, you're kind of sad. You're kind of sad when it misses. A badoosh, a badish. Shambling gas, nice. Oh, we could have used this to return. Nah. Ah! That's too spicy. I don't need that. I don't want that. Village mods, does he have a way of killing another out of the dawn star? That's the question. That is the question now, is it not? Okay, can play an additional land, and he didn't have an additional land. That uh, is not good for him. Okay, we'll level up this. Level up this. Badoosh, badoosh going for all of that. I mean, this is vigilance, also. This is kind of nice. Okay. 6 5 now. Is he out of removal? What's going on? Okay, another gatekeeper. No, don't take my out of the Lone Star. <laughs> God darn you! Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Um, we can just make this have double strike and win, can't we? Isn't that kind of good? I think that's kind of good. Uh, we'll smack it. Bada uh, bada And uh, yeah, that's 14 damage. Quick game, I guess. Okay. And Badoosh. A Badoosh. And uh, a Badoosh. Shumadunk. And there comes damage. A dunk. A dink. A dunk. I feel like we haven't hit the jackpot yet without the Dawnstar. Like when you hit four things, like two Lunark things and like things to return the owl with and everything. Oh my god, when you really go off with this thing. Haven't really gone off with it. Haven't really hit the. Nah! I haven't hit the nah yet! <laughs> you need to hit the nah! Um, let's see here. I think we just play this. Why do you have this, you might wonder? This, the thing is, sometimes, as you saw before, you hit like six lands on top. <laughs> and then it's nice if one of those lands is a Skycap Cleric. Just then I get a little bit of value. Value, value, as we say. 
where I come from, from uh, in France. Uh, I think we put down this. Legendary land, put down this. Badoosh, Badoosh, gained one life. Oh my god. These are beautiful lands. I, these are kind of the first lands that I have considered. Considered buying, honestly, but, uh, but no. 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 <laughs> I need to hold back. Okay. Clary Claus. Put it down. Put it down. Be ready to gain the life. Why not? I think we smack him. Keep a deadly dispute. Barbrish. Barbrish. Feels so nice to have so many one drops, honestly. Feels like he's so maneuverable with all these one drops. Okay. Night Hawk, though. Two man's not really doing anything. I feel like it's some kind of control deck. What I feel like. Sacred Fire. Nah. 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 We're gonna Twitch. And what are we gonna pick up, though? We have a lot of lands. Muskets? Maybe? Maybe I don't know. Okay, muskets. Another deadly dispute and a shaman, guys. That's nice. That's kind of nice. Do like that. Uh, we should have leveled up this first, shouldn't we? On the other hand, I feel like he has a removal spell. So I think we just keep up deadly dispute. We smack him with this guy. Uh, also, we missed on lands, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Night Hawk. Three mana, though. Uh, okay. Whenever night becomes day or day becomes night, look at the top four cards, you may reveal a creature card, okay? Uh, I see, I see. I think we'll just might turn it. Uh, Shambling Ghast. Sacrifice this, great on treasure. Noise, noise, noise. Uh, nothing really good so far, but... Time to unleash the mascots, maybe, Chris? Uh, <laughs> not exactly what I wanted to do, but... On the other hand, maybe we can buff these guys up or something. Skyclip Cleric, okay. And uh, we can buff you up. Badoosh. Ah, yeah, I'll buff you up. I think we even play the Eye Twitch at this point. Play the Eye Twitch, and then next time we'll play the Mascots. With a Blast Gun on there. And it's back in four. It's damage. It is damage, okay. Down to 13. And if he kills the Eye Twitch now, we have another Mascot exhibition that we can pick up. We can kind of function without the all the Dawnstar. Kind of. Ooh! Destroys it. Valorous stance. Let's give something indestructible if he wants it. Yeah, he's gonna smack him with this though, no? Staying back, okay. Paladin class, you say. Hmm. Could just go for a simple mascot exhibition. We don't have anything exciting to return, really. Could also buff our dudes with this. Um, could do that next time, though. I think we go for this. Just put down a lot of dudes. A lot of freaking dudes smacking with this. That's fine. It's a fine time. I think. Okay. Now we have a lot of doters. Okay. We kill something. Oh, that looks nice. Yep. That thing goes. Okay. Back like in with you. Boop. Now the 12. You stop a lot of single target removal there. Three already gone. That's good. Ill tempered loner. Uh, the damage is that much damage to any target. Interesting. Uh, I think just uh, Paladinus classes. Uh, level up this. Make everyone a little bit bigger. And uh, maybe play this or something. And let's see, yeah, this didn't have first strike or anything. I think we are smacking with like everything. Ah, let's go in. Let's go in. Got freaking going out there. Got freaking going. I feel like we got this one. Uh, okay. 3 3 ward dude blocks there, okay. He's down to 7. He can deal 4 damage to any target. So, he's gonna kill something, eh? Is that flyer? That gains us two life points, which also buffs. Z. What exactly? The eye twitch? Yeah, I mean, it's good if he targets the eye twitch, anyways. I think buff that up, okay. Can 
function without the other Dawn Star. We don't even need it. We don't even need it, okay? And now we just level up the Paladin class and we got him. Okay, that's good. Level up the Paladin class and we get him. Badoosh! Badoosh, badoosh! And uh, yeah. I think you're gonna be get huge now. It's only me. Don't even need the combo. Don't even need it. Okay. And uh, these two get in front. Sure. That's okay. Badook. And bada badook. Bada bashook. Gone. And Chris here. I just want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And a special thank you, of course, to everybody who's just joined while I've been away. It's just amazing. Thank you for all the support, everybody. And a special thank you, as I said, to the latest members of Join there, which are Dr. Joseph Jorgen, Ryan Shaw, Lolzd, Lee Wright, Dr. Jojo, VT, Leo Johnson, and also welcome back, people have rejoined while I've been away. It's so nice, thank you. Uh, thank you, Juan Bazais, Andrew Fellers, Kyle Highsmith, Matthias Porley, Jesse W, and Al Angelina Solodo. Solodeva. <laughs> Solodeva, I think. <laughs> Can't read my own writing. Thanks so much, everybody. See you tomorrow. Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And. Um... What are you doing here? I'm just here to take those of views! No, the, those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs 0% and non-subs 100%. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.